Hey guys, it's Kavera. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Come check out a day in our lives in Taipei. Good morning, you guys. Good morning from Taipei. It is a noisy morning. Can you see all those bikes just zipping, up, zipping past us, zipping away? We have a late start to our morning again because, you know, us, we're just lazy. Like to stay in and chill, work, catch up on stuff. Uh, but now we're heading to sightsee some more. No crazy specific plans. Um, a lot. That's the thing with Taipei. A lot of things are just so spread out. It's like I want to see this, but then you have to take another train 40 minutes the other way to see that. And I'm like, mm. I got some culture in yesterday. Today we're just gonna chill. We're gonna do a temple. No, yeah, and a park. Go down to the happening district. So we're seeing some stuff that you know you'd normally see or you'd put on your list, but nothing crazy. Yeah. All right, so first we're gonna find food and then we'll continue on. Oh, and we're supposed to leave tomorrow and I haven't bought the ticket yet. Or of course, I haven't done a hotel or anything. My struggle is real. We might extend because the kids like it. So we might do two more nights before leaving, but we'll see. I'll see when I go back. If the ticket price is the same, I'll buy it to leave tomorrow. But if it changed and it's cheaper on in two days <laughs> then i'll get the ticket for that so yeah that's literally how i live my life which day is the ticket cheaper okay so we are at the taipei expo park this is one of the stops and what was the square drill the muji square maji, maji square yeah some some square okay <laughs> oh it's so pretty look at this okay so we are gonna check it out i'll take you around it's just a little bit of walking looking taking it all in a lot of that we've been doing beautiful maji square is a popular outdoor food market located in the datang district of taipei it is named after the nearby maji memorial hall and is known as maji food and delicacy square Maji Square features more than 100 stalls and vendors selling a wide range of food, including traditional Taiwanese snacks such as an oyster omelette, sticky tofu, scallion pancakes, as well as popular international foods like pizza, Thai food, and Indian curry. The market is open every day from early afternoon until late evening and is a popular destination for both locals and tourists. Okay, so this is the Yanshan Park. Don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, as usual, but I'll put the name up. So you can come over here and like there's an entire section just to chill. People just hanging out. You can grab food, relax, and enjoy your day. It's beautiful and today is not so cold. Yesterday was super windy and super cold. Today is pretty nice, so it's a nice day to walk the park. There's a Buddhist temple around here. So I'm gonna check it out. But yeah, there's maps and um, info all around so you can see where you are or head to a section if you want to see something uh, specific. But yeah, it is pretty. That looks like somewhere they're selling food and stuff or at least no that's not food see i'm so greedy i'm always thinking about food <laughs> oh my goodness all right so we made it to the temple which was one of our stops it's our first temple in taiwan and it's beautiful, so I'm gonna show you inside. Okay, so a beautiful lady that 
uh, works, I don't know if they work or just volunteer or whatever here, came over and she was explaining everything to me. She's saying sorry for her broken English. I'm like, oh, thank you for helping me. I can't even speak your language, so I'm even worse. But anyway, she said to pray, you turn outward first. You tell your name, your age, and your address. And then, you know, what the, what you're praying for or praying about. And then you turn to the other side. Then you turn left, no, right, and then left. And then they had, I, I didn't record in there because there is there's a ton of people in there and they're doing their rituals and purrs and everything. So I wasn't going to impose or, you know record all that but yeah and then she showed me what they were doing you get up and the lady will do a whole blessing she said that's their ritual for this temple this is one of the main temples here in taipei and it was just wow it was beautiful <laughs> just seeing everybody in there what they're doing their traditions learning this is why i travel because i didn't know and she said they have five gods and she showed me the main god and you know that you pray to for certain things and she did i did get a booklet but yeah it's something that you can definitely if you're interested in you can learn more about it learn more about their gods because i'm not really explaining properly but yeah this is the booklet that i got i'm just showing you some pages with one hand <laughs> i have one hand going here you guys the kids are somewhere down there while i'm standing here trying to struggle yeah so this is pretty much what it is but yeah this is where we are beautiful i love it Next stop is Taipei 101 World Trade Center. Look at this. I'm trying to bend over. Oh my goodness, it is tall. And look how the shape too. Oh my goodness. And I'm in love with this pink sears. Look how pretty. Look how pretty this is. And of course, inside here is going to be a ton of shopping. There's Louis upstairs. <laughs> Fancy schmancy. It is huge, lots to do. This is like one of the maps. Oh my gosh, B1, showing you all the things that are here. Crazy. And you can go up to the tower uh, to view the city from above. I think it's uh, $17. Oh, look at those. I'm Dory, I know. It's $17 to get up there. So if that's something that you want to do, then you can check that out too. Oh my gosh, yummy stuff, you guys. It is super packed out here, you guys. I don't know what's happening, but this is where everybody is. Yeah, I'm giving you another view of the tower. But yeah, wow. Look out here, look at these. <gasps> look at this, how pretty this is. Oh my goodness. It is so pretty. <laughs> so pretty. we are at the next stop oh my goodness it is everybody out here this is one of the most famous night markets walk-in area again i'll put the name up so i'm not butchering it but look at this wow whoa oh my goodness you guys this place just i don't even know which way to go yet straight or to the side it is so much to see. I'm confused and I want food. I want to start trying some stuff. So we're just going to go straight in. <laughs> and then we probably turn around. Oh my gosh, it goes all the way down, you guys. Wow.
Okay, so first thing we're trying the potato balls again. We're not trying, we're eating it because we liked it. So yeah. I just passed the stinky tofu stand. Like it is it smells really bad, you guys. Kids were passing cocoa inside and wanted something from here again because that's what we had yesterday and it was super yummy. So time for something to drink. This is what they get. You gotta stab it, girl. <laughs> Ooh, look at that, you guys. Fresh strawberry. How does that taste, Khalil? Good. Really good, right? How's that, Jarrell? Okay, so, so let's continue checking this street out. This is one of the must-eats in Taiwan. It is the fried chicken where they pound the chicken breast out so much. It is so flat. <laughs> and then it's just sticking out of the bag. You walk eating it. Um, it's 85 for it. So yeah, definitely grab one of these. I'm just waiting on my order. And then I will see what it is. My, oh my goodness, you guys. Look how big this thing is. And it is so hot. It just came out of the fire. It is ridiculous. <laughs> This is so good, you guys. And it's a big old piece of chicken. Like, the kids ate that half, and I'm going in here. But it's so good. Yum. Next thing you must try is their milk tea with uh, tapioca pearls. So, I got the black sugar milk tea. And it says it's one of the popular drinks, along with fresh milk, pawpaw, and fresh mango milk. That sounds good, too. But I want some tea. It is, it, it is time to head home. We, it was a long day. We're tired. We have a flight tomorrow. I hope because I haven't booked it yet. But we're going home to book it. I know my struggle struggle life is real, you guys. And then to find an apartment to stay. Yeah. Welcome to my life. Like, what is this, you guys? On the walk home, well, to the bus. This is what we see. How pretty. Oh my gosh. The colors aren't even translated in my phone. Good morning, you guys. It is travel day again. We finished up our short stint in Taipei. Definitely could have used a couple more days, but another country on my list to come back to to check out. But at least we did it. We did pretty much everything that we wanted to. Um, everybody's list will be different. I'm traveling with kids, so what we want to see will be different from what you want to see or what you know are the must sees. So now we're just waiting for a taxi. We're gonna take a taxi to the main station. If we didn't have all this crap, <laughs> plus what's on me, we could have just walked to the station over there and it took two trains, but we're just gonna take one to the Taipei main station and then the airport. It's gonna be more expensive, but it's easy, better than walking with all these bags right now. But it is such a beautiful day. Like the one day we're leaving, always, you can guarantee it's gonna be a pretty day. It was not this pretty the two days we were here okay and now it is beautiful like yes but we are off to our next country it's not a new country so repeat but Kalel wanted to go so we're gonna take him so he can experience what we experienced 